Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel once again. So, you join me from the other side of the 89. Surprise, surprise, this side's just as rusty. This side's a little bit different in the sense it's gone in a few different areas, but nonetheless, it's, it's rust repairs and rust repairs are rust repairs, and I seem to be getting used to that now. Uh, so we've got the same story with these panels. So these panels really don't fit that well. Um, if you remember in the last one, I had to just kind of manipulate this by making it a little bit shorter, and then um, I actually moved the flange on that one back. Uh, this side, it's pretty much the same story. So I've looked online as well, and. I'm not the only one to have the exact same problems with these uh, panels. So yeah, it's quite a good feeling at the end of the day. Um, but what I'm gonna do, same again, is shorten that to fit there. Um, that should allow that to fit in a little bit nicer. I just don't think it's been shaped very well at all. I mean, obviously it's gonna need a bit of filler, but it's not that bad, do you know what I mean? It's really, really not that bad. Uh, once it's fitted, it's just a pain to get it fitted, I guess, is the right way to look at it. So on this side, we have got a bit of a boo-boo that I made, and that's purely because I just got gun ho of a grinder. So once the panel's sat in place, obviously it will completely sort all the way along there, but we're gonna be left with about half an inch on the front lip here, like a sliver. Um, but I did keep this from the other side, which I've already got the curve which I need, but looking at it, I don't actually think I need the curve. Um, I just need a, a section here that joins back on. So it shouldn't be too bad to deal with. So I'll bring you guys in and let you check out this side of the car as this side's obviously kind of never really in shot. You guys never see it in general videos anyway. So I'll show you what's going on this side. Uh, when I did the floor, I uncovered some, some boo-boos, shall we say. Uh, yeah, someone enjoyed sculpting out a filler on this side. Uh, yeah, I'll let you make your mind up on it, but obviously it's all gonna get cut out and redone, so. But before I bring you guys round, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, obviously, once you've watched through the video, drop a comment in the link in the description below. If you've ever done these, what do you think? Would you wanna see on this channel? Um, what do you think to the 89 build? Also, if you haven't, please consider subscribing to the channel. This is not the only mini that we have on the channel and not the only project in general. Uh, we've got all sorts of bits and pieces going on. And now things are starting to open up. We've got loads of stuff. So all the comments and all the support is so humbling and welcome. So please go check us out if you haven't already. All right, so looking from this side, here is the driver's side of the 89 that you guys probably haven't seen yet unless you followed from the beginning. And I did some repairs and bits and bobs. But in fact, I don't even think I filmed that. I think I started this channel before after I did that. But, so this side's got a few little bits and pieces. Along here is beautiful. Um, what you can see there is just really poor paintwork and primer. <laughs> so not the best, all this paint needs to come off really. Um, little bit of surface rust there, which I've just ground back off camera and it's good, so it's gonna get a bit of a treatment once I can clean it back properly. But, this is where things get fun. So likewise, there's a little bit of surface rust there. It's really not a biggie. That is fun. <laughs> so, there is actually a plate in here, then a join, a plate in there, uh, and it's actually over rust. So you can actually see that's the original panel and then it's stitched there. And then obviously all this has been grafted in. This is still the original panel and there's just like a weld that runs there. Obviously I've put in the floor and we've got the same panel to put in here. But this panel that I've got for this side is actually cut off from this. So basically I came up to about there on it, um, but didn't go this far as we weren't sure we were gonna do um, quarters or not and really I prefer to repair these and replace them uh, quarters are, uh, don't get me wrong they're not a bad job on a mini but oh, gotta save something on this car and I've already got the panel which comes all the way up there and gets rid of all this crap repair so obviously that's the last thing if you follow from the other side we've got two panels on the inside we've got the one that goes in there and the one that butts onto there so all this is going to get cut out because we don't need it in fact 
I don't know how thick that piece of metal is, but it's 10 times thicker than the original. Obviously looking inside the car, it's the same sort of story. Not sure how much you can see there, but not too much. So yeah, we just need to make these fit a little bit nicer and then get them on. So you can kind of see a little bit of a gap I've got there. Not a big problem. So I've set you guys up. We'll start modifying this. Uh, I won't bore you by this. Obviously I just need to shorten it and then we'll start getting this fitted to the car. That is the aim of the game. So I think I'm there. I've had to do, I've tried to get away with not having to do kind of as much book tree to that new panel as I had to, um, but it just doesn't fit. You can't, I kind of get that you probably should do them when the floor's out, because you've got more kind of angle to put the panel up under, um, but with the car built, it's pretty difficult to do. Um, and the fact that the panel's not the best pressing as it is, but as you can see, I think that's pretty decent. So I'm gonna obviously do the little stitch welds that I did along there. I've had to cut that tab off and then make it fit, but it, it looks so much better now. Um, once it's obviously ground back, I like to give a filler up there and obviously once the carpet is all in the car and all, all the other gubbins and the guys painted, it will be absolutely golden just like the other side, but it's just taken so long to do a little job like that. Uh, so we're at the point now where the welding can happen. So I've cracked the welder out. Um, I've cleaned back on the floor as you saw, and I'm gonna put some zinc primer on it before I get, get, paint, uh, get welding. Uh, so there is something there, but there is something beneath the actual two panels. As you notice there, I marked it off and I've only cleaned back where I needed to weld. So underneath the panels, organizing primer, underneath 
that tab has all zinc primer and stuff like that, so it's all kind of rust protected the best I can. Um, of course, I need a clean surface and decent surface as well to do some cleaning up when I needed to. Um, and when I weld along, there is a tiny little patch in the back there that um, I, the kind of where it joined the hill board. Uh, so what I'll do is when I've got the quarter out on the other side, I'll repair it like I did on the other side from when I've got a bit more access in that side panel. So for, for now, let's get that in. Let's get that connected to the floor. Let's get welding, guys. Onwards and upwards. And guess what's just happened? I've run out of welding wire. My stupid fault. I should have kept some tabs a little bit, but I've just been so carried away with getting jobs done with the welder at the moment. Right, off to get some more. Oh, bloody hell. Just when you think you're getting some worry. Eh? Right, I'm gonna shoot out. I'm gonna get some welding wire. I'm gonna get two packets. And then I've got one on the shelf, so I haven't got to do this again. And then we'll come back to it. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in a moment. Right guys, there we have it. So you saw what I was doing, I tacked it all in kind of a, leaving an inch or two between everything. Then obviously seam welded that plate back in into the, the, the um, inner seal there, so that's obviously a good bit of structure back in. I actually welded up the back of it from the inside of the bin as well, because obviously you saw I had separate those two sections. Um, and then I've just stitched it back together. Um, inside I've done the same, where I've stitched around the floor and onto the hill board, so that's all sorted as well. It is a right, pain in the arse trying to do this. It is a crap panel to have to replace and next time I do it, I will not be doing that. I'll just buy new bins. But I wanted to try and preserve something of this car and it was more hassle than it was worth to be quite frank. Um, on the good shout, my welder is going really well. I'm quite happy with my quality of my welding now. It seems to be doing better and better. Welding and machine panels is very good. Um, so if I can take a plus out of this, the metal's good to weld. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're done. We're done in that respect. So what I'm gonna do is gonna grind it all back. I'm gonna get it all into primer. I'm gonna seam seal it all up. Um, like I mentioned, there is a slight lift off the ground. If you look at a standard factory mini, they're not fl they're flush to the ground on the inside where they've spot the obviously spot welded. There is a slight kind of, it's just off the floor a little bit. And I've looked at a few factory minis and they are just like that. So I'm gonna do what I did on the other side, which I'll recap and show you. Um, basically you can see there, I've obviously seam sealed all the way around it. So it's actually completely flush on that now. So I'm happy with that. So we'll be doing that again. It works really well. Um, get this ground back, get this in paint. And yeah, I think that'll be this episode done. And then we're gonna basically repeat what we've done on the other side, where we're gonna use these, um, that inner closer panel on the arch and get all that in. But obviously we're gonna have to assess the rear quarter first, but I wanted to get this in because it's another bit of structure back in the car, kind of work my way back out, which I think is a logical way. Comment below if you don't think it is. But yeah, let's, uh, Get cleaned up and bring you guys back in, see what it kind of looks like before prep. Obviously, I'm going to skimp all these with filler and make them look a bit tidier. But it's what it is. It's a door bin. You know, it's just got to be strong and tidy. And that's what I'm going for. And I think it's gone well considering the panels I've had. Let's get the grinder out. Let's get the tunes back on.
have it. Another side done. Well, another job done, not another side. You know what I mean. So it's gone as well as it could have done really with these panels. They fought me for, to the bitter end. Um, obviously I'll mimic what I've done on the other side with the seal around the bottom. I just think that's a nice thing to add. I painted it inside and out. We're just gonna let that dry now with the uh, edge primer. So hopefully we're gonna keep things at bay a little bit more and we can just, you know, try and stop rust in its tracks. You know, classic cars, whether they're restored or not, they're prone to rust. It's just how they're built, the seams and there's bits and pieces like that. And you, all you can do when you're restoring a car is just do your best. But if you sort of research products a little bit and try and get that on your side, then you're going to be fine and the car's going to last a lot longer. Um, for me, testament to that is my sidewalk. It was never a full restoration, but the one bit I did spend quite a bit of time on was the undersides trying to make it nice. And apart from where stone chips have kind of eaten through the paint because I use it a lot, it's kind of stood the test of time for the last five years and I'm quite happy with that. Um, it, is, it is just inevitable it's going to come back at some point, but you've got to try and do your best. Uh, but that being said, if you can, you know, make improvements as you go along when you restore a car, then that's what it's all about. Well, let that dry. Do seam sealer. And then next episode, we're getting stuck into this quarter panel. I'm not looking forward to it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah. So we're gonna try and keep videos coming out. I'm gonna try and keep to two, to at least two a week, um, if not down to one a week. Um, I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to, you know, get on these jobs as much as I possibly can with it. But yeah, we're getting there, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying being back on this car. I just, I just want it done now and out my garage. It's, it's at that mentality now. So we're obviously still waiting for panels, but we're getting close. So unfortunately, guys, I've got no beer to put in my beer stand, but I will go and have a brew. That is another job done and another video finished. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something from it. I'm trying to not document too much of the same thing if you know what I mean because obviously got the same jobs to do on both sides of the car but that being said I want to document it so we're going to keep going throughout if you haven't already hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up it massively helps us and yeah onwards and upwards to the next job quarter panels yay yeah we're getting there I'm enjoying it really guys so I'm going to go and enjoy my chair and uh, yeah kick back and relax look after yourselves catch you next one